Great to see Andrew Howe. Injured earlier, a hamstring, and he's back. NCAA champion from last year. He'll go up against Colt Sponseller from Ohio State. Let's hear from them. And we will in just a moment as we see how Powell goes to the finals. Had a close one in the semis against Jansen, three to two. Sponseller all the way from the number two seed, just as expected. Now we can hear from our finals. Andrew, great victory. You're back from an injury and you're wrestling tough. So are you prepared to win another national title this year? Yeah, I am. Um, you know, I, I had that injury and um, been recovering from it the last few weeks. And uh, I feel like I haven't missed a beat, though. Been uh, getting a lot of good workouts in, and I'm feeling great, and I'm ready to make a run for another Big Ten championship and a national title. Cold, great match, and um, you're wrestling uh, a familiar person. You uh, wrestled a Andrew Howe in the finals last year. What's uh, going to be different about this match? Well, you know, when me and Andrew wrestle, it's a, uh, it's really a brawl. I mean, we're two uh, guys that like to get in each other's faces, have good conditioning, just like to duke it out. And uh, I mean, I just need to not make mistakes. Last year, I mean, one or two mistakes here cost you the match, and, and that's the way it is in Big Ten. And and when you get down to the NCAA tournament, uh, you just minimize your mistakes, go out there and wrestle your best positions, and I mean, just score points. And when you've got two warriors on the mat like us, it, it just seems like a knockdown dragout. These two Warriors, there's Colt Sponsor. He dropped a 4-2 decision last year to this man in the Big Ten Championships, Andrew Howe, who as a freshman was the NCAA runner-up. Last year as a sophomore, the champion. And so they meet again for the Big Ten Championships. Andrew Howe from Wisconsin. Colt Sponseller, Ohio State. Well, Colt Sponseller, Sponseller is exactly correct. These batches have been wars. And uh, we're right down to the end. And I like it when one of these guys gets an early takedown because it's not an indicator of what the match is going to be like, but it just opens the whole uh, can of worms up. And, and a lot of times they'll spend a lot of time in this head, hands, defense position, ear to ear. They won't really get to the angle, but uh, if one of them is, gets an early score, it gets fun real quick. Absolutely. Andy has great offense, though. When he actually uh, pulls the trigger, it's it's perfect. You know, he gets great great penetration. He gets great angles, and he once he gets the leg, he finishes pretty strong usually. Yeah, he's just that's a signature of Wisconsin wrestlers over the years. I mean, Barry Davis, you know, Donnie Pritzloff. When they got in on the leg, uh, it was it was two. Absolutely. Same leg. Lee Camp. All right. <laughs> I mean, talk about uh, a match for, uh, made in heaven. Andrew Howe and Donnie Pritzloff. I mean, they, what, they <laughs> obviously, they don't even think, uh, not only look alike, but they, they wrestle similar, and it, it's been a great uh, marriage between those two. Andrew Howe from Cedar Lake, Indiana, but spent a lot of time on the road going to the overtime uh, club headed up by Sean Bormet in high school. He'd drive 45 minutes to an hour and a half one way just to wrestle three times a week at overtime. Well, there's some great coaches there at that overtime. Ed Deasy, all the guys that have world uh, uh, experience and, and great people. There's Donnie Pritzloff, two-time NCAA champion of Wisconsin. Now on the coaching staff with Barry Davis, Wisconsin, perennially now contending for the top echelon of the Big Ten championships. And, and what a job Barry has done at, with Wisconsin here the last few years. I mean, they, they got their uh, a top four trophy last year, last season, of course. Coach of the year, national coach of the year. Yeah, I mean, he's just done a, a, a nice job. His staff has done an excellent job of complimenting uh, Barry's qualities as a motivator. There's nobody more exciting, excited in the corner, excited, <laughs> Barry. yeah, and Barry. But uh, just one of the most positive people that you'd ever want to meet in your life. Went through some personal tragedy last year, you know, losing his brother, and, and uh, his team really responded here with giving him the team trophy. And, and you know, Colt Sponseller, this is a guy. A couple years ago, you know, ranked one or two in the, in the country in, in one of the uh, tougher weight classes, more balanced weight classes. Thirty. But how has been able to separate? But uh, Sponsor is a guy that likes to keep a high paced match and does have the tools to be able to win a tight match. And the great thing about him coming up in his program at Ohio State, they just seem to have the ability to, to flip the switch in the national tournament at tournament time. They've seen Jay Jaggers, uh, Silo, and some of the others here that have uh, won national championships. So he's seen it done with teammates, and I think he believes it's his turn this year. Yep, that was a great shot by. Uh... By Howe. Just didn't, you know, the timing was there. He was in, but just 
didn't have the right angle to, to come up with the score. There's Tom Ryan. What a wonderful job he's done at Ohio State. And he really is rebuilding. He had so many uh, injuries. Um, he expected to have a bit different of the lineup for Ohio State this year. But uh, injuries, a couple of wrestlers that left the program. But he is. He's a program builder, and you know Ohio State will be back uh, close to the top here in the near future. Sponsor pulling the uh, leg in. How coming right up to his feet. Sponsor a little bit oh, high. Yeah, he is high. And you got a guy like Howell who's pretty. He's able to leg, leg lace there, stay in the top position. He's got it tight, though. He's got a tight, but, but how is it yep. been able to pull his head out of that? Better than the reversal, so uh, Sponseller does a nice job of giving up only one to Andrew Howe. Andrew Howe had a closer than anticipated match in the semifinals against Aaron Jansen from Iowa. Aaron Jansen is a guy who's come out of nowhere in this weight class, has been wrestling pretty competitive in the last couple of uh, months. But when you have a season. room that's competitive like that, like the Iowa room, you know, you just sort of step up because everybody else is. And, uh, you know, you kind of get pulled along and you see your teammates, uh, you know, being champions and you want to be one too. You just never know where Barry Davis is going to be in his matches. <laughs> but, uh, and so, you know, we kind of play a where's Barry game. He's and in the so front row. There, yeah. yeah and right then our bench. camera, we have great camera operators and we're going to find Barry. And, uh, because he's just too uh, entertaining to uh, not see during a match. As you said, uh, he's uh, done a great job at Wisconsin last year's National Wrestling Coach Association Coach of the Year. Great honor. Barry's worked very hard to build that program uh, and uh, surrounded himself with great coaches. Donnie, uh, incidentally, Donnie Pritzoff has won on every level. He was a junior world champion, the 20 and under age group was third of it's Barry Davis in the crowd. He's not down on the mat side. That's Barry Davis being one of the crowd. A couple of rows up right behind the head table. At the end of the second period, we'll go to the third period. Andrew Howe out in front, 1-0. Tom Ryan, two-time All-American at Iowa. And Barry Davis is a three-time NCAA champion at Iowa. I got a funny story about Barry. You know, he has a memory that goes back 30 years in wrestling. I'm sitting next to a teammate of mine, and he found he knew who he was, and he mimicked his style. He said, "This was your style. You had duck feet." I was Randy Conrad, a teammate of mine, and he basically mimicked his style. Just had us cracking up. He's got a great memory for styles of the sport, and that's why he's been an effective coach. Jim Lee. Why is Barry in the crowd and not on the mat? You know, I think, uh, I know this because of these coaches like Donnie and uh, Freyer work more closely with the athletes. So they want the athlete that has the coach that spends the most time with them in the corner. Well, my coach was Coach Harold Nichols and he told me I'd, he'd put my grandma in the corner to help me win. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary coach Harold Nichols, Iowa State who Jim Evans succeeded at Iowa State. NCAA champion wrestler 21. and coach Jim Gibbons, along 21. with Lee Kemp, three-time NCAA champion, three-time world champion. You're listening to two of the best. Analyze the action here on the Big Ten Network for the Big Ten Wrestling Championships, presented by Cliff Keen Athletic. Now doing his best here to go ahead. Oh, nice roll through there by Sponsor. Cut the riding time. No riding time advantage. It's one to one. There's one minute left in the third period and regulation. If it stays like this, we'll go to overtime. You see this so many times in this weight class where guys, they have a difficult time to getting to each other's corner. They get a difficult time to get that corner shot off. There's a two on one by Sponseller. That's a, a technique that you can get to the corner with. Getting off the left hand side, but you notice how Howe squares up so well. Circles, retreats, then comes back forward. Sponsor is doing a great oh, nice step in there, but Sponsor is doing a great job of controlling Andy really, you know, controlling the ties. Yeah, I think that right hand collar tie that Sponsor is implementing, and then he comes back into the two on one on the left side, is, is, is throwing Howe off a little bit. It, it is, it absolutely is. Sponsor, the senior, he's trying to get his first Big Ten Wrestling Championship, Big Ten Championship. And he's going to go to overtime with the man that beat him last year, 4 to 2 in regulation. 
So we go a step further for the West Holmes High School product from Glenmont, Ohio. Sudden victory, one minute goes on the board. They, Tim Shields from Apple Valley, Minnesota is the head official. He brings them to the center, the whistle's blown. And the first wrestler to score will win this match and be the Big Ten champion. And if they don't score in this minute, we'll bring you up to speed on what the next steps are in the overtime. Good double leg attempt there by, by uh, Powell. And Sponsor was able to go ahead and get to the collar tie on the, the right hand side and then follow it up with the two on one on the left. Now he drops Here it. Is. The nice, nice angle change. Great Powell. job. Howe in, he's got the red ankle band. Andrew Howe in, and he's going, he's looking for two. He's cut off to the double. He should have the two. He's got his arm across. Cheeks are on the mat. Not much time left, but two points. There it is. There's the Big Ten champion. Big Ten champion, Andrew Howe. Disappointment for Colt Sponseller. Colt Sponseller, in a couple of weeks, will have the opportunity to become an All-American for the first time. Here's your NCAA champion from last year and 2011 Big Ten champion, Andrew Howe from Wisconsin. Wisconsin fans up on their feet. An appreciation for this young man. Snapped a hamstring and now he's back. What a courageous comeback. Let's go to Jim with Andrew. Well, Andrew, uh, Big Ten championship, but you knew it was gonna be a war out there with Sponsor. And tell me about your last shot there for the championship. Um, well, uh, he came off a hard fake, and I jumped on that front head, and uh, his leg was close to his head, so I just ran it down. And I tell you what, you look like you're full speed, completely healthy with that leg, and you're looking so pretty tough out there. Yeah, thanks. Um, you know, I feel like I haven't missed much being out, and uh, feeling great. All I'm right. ready for ready for Philly. All right. See you in Philly. Okay. You thanks. Guys. Take care. Back to you, Tim. Great action here, as you can see that. He's in tight. All he's got to do now is just get that arm across, and what which he does. And once he gets that across, it's just a matter of time before the official scores the. Andrew takedown. Howe from Wisconsin wins the Big Ten championship at 165. And there's Barry Davis. Says yes, sir. Absolutely. Gives the fans in the stands some high fives. And another Badger Big Ten champion and Barry Davis, Mr. Excitement. And we'll be back at 174 pounds for more excitement. Fresh.